ants breakfast. hike today. If it's going to be nice in the winter time, we try about once a week to go do something like that. My husband's really into hiking and he'll find local spots. I don't normally curl my hair whenever I'm going on a hike, but I washed it today and so I wanted to... Are you waking up, buddy? I wanted to do that because then it will stay curly for a few days. But anyways, I wanted to update you all on a new wrap that I tried. I had so many suggestions after my wraps comparison video that I should try a real deal expensive woven wrap not just a DIY one. Someone recommended I try this this one's by Pabo and I found it on a used website I found it on Poshmark and I was really skeptical and at first I wasn't super sold on it I wasn't used to it I guess is the thing I think the wrap that you get the most used to is the one you love the most but I wanted to give a genuine opinion of this wrap, so I wore it for a month straight just to be able to come on here and say, I love it or I don't. But I have to admit that now that I've been using it for a month, I don't want to use my other one. So that's not to say I don't absolutely still love the Boba and the Sally and the Moby. I think whatever wrap you get used to, quite honestly, is what you're going to love. But now that I am used to this one, I love it. I share a little bit about this over on my Instagram and people ask me, what do you love about it? I think I like that you don't have to get the baby really tight because since it isn't stretchy, they're not going anywhere. I feel like with the Sally and the Boba, they work wonderfully, but if you don't get them really tight, that is the key. I feel like I see people when they're first trying it out and they leave room for the baby and then the baby's sagging down and it's not comfortable. Now I have that under control because I've used them so much that I know that you have to wrap them really, really tightly. But with this, you don't have to worry about it at all. I also like that this is really fast to wrap. Now when I first did it, it wasn't. And I was like, this is silly because with the Sally and the Boba, I just wear it all day long and never take it off. With this one, you can't take the baby in and out. You have to rewrap it but it's faster. So I kind of like that I do end up taking it off and it doesn't feel like as big of a burden as taking off the other one because it's nice to not actually wear a wrap all day. With the amount of time that it takes to wrap it, the knit one, I liked that I never took it off and the baby just went in and out. But since this one is so fast, it doesn't bother me to take it off and on. Hopefully that makes sense. First time I did it, I thought that you had to tie the back in a couple of knots but really, I just tie it one time through. I don't even double knot it. And so it's really, really fast. And he obviously loves it and is super cozy. Again, I still love the other one. But a few more of the advantages of this one is I like that I don't have an excessive fabric tail. So it just is a little bit in the back. It's not hanging all the way down like my knit wrap. The boba that I have has been through a lot of kids. It was my sister's, we passed it around. And so I probably just also like that this one is newer. One more thing about it, and then I'll leave you alone about talking about wraps. <laughs> but for those of you who are interested, is I don't think this one is ever going to have any holes. I think if you say you're gonna have four kids, you know that, and you're buying a wrap for your first baby, you're probably gonna be able to use the same one all the way through. This is already used. It's really thick, so it's not showing anywhere. I don't expect it to. I've washed it and dried it several times. Also, you can use it for a back carry. You cannot do that for a knit wrap. And what else was I gonna say about it? Oh, so the major con is that it's expensive. One of these brand new is around $300. So that might be an issue considering that a brand new Boba is 30. Now that'll last you probably 
even two or three kids. That's what it's lasted. So they'll still last. It's still a toss up, but I have to admit that I love this a lot more than I thought I would. Okay, one more thing about my wrap. It doubles as a really nice car seat blanket. And I like that, because then I can just put it around it and then put it on when we get there. We're all loaded up. We're in separate cars. I'm driving because my husband's dad, my father-in-law is coming too, and that's one disadvantage of buying a car that seats just exactly eight. We can't fit anybody else. Let's hope they went that way, or we won't catch them. They should probably wait at Forks. I hear them, I hear them. Do I hear them? You see? Oh, I see them. Here they come. Judah, did you find a walking stick, bud? You're kind of being a straggler. You're straggling. Pick up the pace and catch the crew. What are they doing? Well, I don't know. We're behind. We gotta go find out. There you go, buddy. That's the way. Let's go catch the group again. You about ready to go eat some sandwiches? Uh, see, so far I do. You will see a bird, bird. Nest. I saw that. See it. Look. Oh, where is it? Show me. Oh, I see it right out there on that rock. Doesn't that bird know this cave is closed? Come on, bud. I'm just teasing. Well, I'm not teasing about that. Let's go up the stairs, bud. You're, are you gonna try to scale the hill? You gonna try to scale the hill? Oh. Salami is yummy. Do you want a salami, Sammy? You get it. I'm not gonna get it, Mom. There's just a yolk in there. I'll race you. I'll race you. Oh yeah, it does. Apparently you can tour the whole thing. Okay, I guess he's a ghost. There comes Eli. Oh yeah, you're <laughs> You're making a video? Cool, dude. Alright, come on down now. Let's uh let's see what else is up here. <laughs> Whoa! I'm not gonna do it because Johanna said it's gonna completely on your belly and I don't want to I sense another one of these coming up. How far? Boys, hey, don't go any further because I oh, want you guys. Oh, Mom, you scared me. I know, boys, don't go any further. Oh, oh you can't. Oh, good. Guys, look, there's a good room. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my I have to be honest, God. I'm glad. Whoa! 
Don't go any further, Judy. What is that? Oh, a shelf. What? Cool. What's that? Cool. What's that? Sorry, you can't like slide down to any secret places. No, no. Just, you like Micah? No. This is cool. Micah doesn't like it. Are you scared, Micah? Mom, let's turn off our lights real quick. Ready? Oh, no, no, I'm not doing dun, that. Dun, dun, dun! Ah! <laughs> How far can you see ah! Micah? Is that it? That's, that's, that's it. it, that's it. That's such a cool little shelf. Let's get out Micah's, I think, a little scared. Hey, Every good adventure day in Okay, I'll take a an four four. Shot. This is more than I'm willing to pay, but man, that's pretty. Love the details. Look at that little thing. I wonder if that's what a foot that? bath. Oh, it's a sits bath. What? I don't really understand that either, but it looks cool. Finding some treasures already. It's $28. Oh, yeah, if it was an oil Wait, painting, I would get it, it, but it's it's a it's a print. What is this? I like the frame, I can tell you that. Okay, we just got home from our fun adventure day out. I hope you enjoyed going along with us. I'm gonna make some dinner, which you will see on an upcoming What We Eat in a Week video, so I won't spoil it. But we're gonna sign off for the night. Let us know. <laughs> in the comments if you enjoy going on these days with us because I really like making them. Bye.